Joost Klein. This might not be the name that rings a bell for everyone, but in the world of digital media, he is a rising comet. The Netherlands has chosen Joost as their representative for the Eurovision Song Contest 2024, and boy, does he have talent. If you're still scratching your head, wondering how this boy transformed into a Eurovision star, you're in luck. I'm here to tell you the story of the real Joost Klein. From his first online post to the dazzling lights of Eurovision, we're about to explore the journey of this rising artist. Welcome to Who the F***. Please subscribe to our channel and get to know everyone you really need to meet. Joost Klein grew up in Britsum, a quiet village in Friesland. His early life wasn't easy. Tragedy struck when he was just 12, as cancer took his father away. The loss was immense, but it wasn't the end of his challenges. Within a year, he faced another heartbreak when his mother passed away from a heart attack. Suddenly, Joost found himself an orphan. These early hardships in his life, though incredibly tough, shaped him into the resilient and creative individual he is today. In 2016, Joost Klein decided, hey, why not? And jumped headfirst into the YouTube world, launching his channel, Einhorn Joost. Right off the bat, it was clear he wasn't going to be your average run-of-the-mill vlogger. Forget cute pet videos, or daily routines. Joost was all about serving up a smorgasbord of the absurd and the unexpected. He has 235,000 subscribers at the moment and his videos have more than 23 million views. Most of his old videos have been deleted, but at the peak YouTube career, he was really something. His channel was like a box of chocolates. You never knew what you were going to get. One day, he is celebrating his birthday, not with a typical cake and candles, but by getting hilariously drunk with friends. Classic Yoast move. And just when you think you have got him pegged as the king of comedy, he would hit you with a curveball, some serious documentary. On his channel, he posted a documentary about Friesland, which was his childhood stomping ground, and opened up about the heart ache of losing his parents. So yeah, this wasn't just a guy making videos. This was Joost turning his life into art. From laugh out loud sketches to touching personal stories, he brought it all. And let's be honest, starting a YouTube channel was probably the best decision he ever made. For one, it brought him the spotlight and then it gave him the chance to show the world what he had to say. And that's where his fame started. Joost Klein is not one to be boxed into just one form of creative expression, so he decided to jump into music. His journey in tunes began with individual songs on YouTube and SoundCloud. So before he made a splash with his EP, Daklosh. Songs like Homeless and Homemade got everyone talking. And just when we thought we had seen it all, along came Scandinavian Boy, the mixtape that turned him from a YouTuber to a music sensation overnight. The title track was pure gold. 2018 was a big year for Joost. He teamed up with Donny, another Dutch rapper, and together they created M Van Marketing. This album had 11 tracks, each one with a different touch. They even threw a one-of-a-kind performance at the Royal Theatre Carré in Amsterdam to spread the word. And let's be real, Joost and Donnie were like peanut butter and jelly, a perfect combo. But Joost wasn't about to take a break. He hit us with Albino, his very own album. This wasn't just a collection of songs, it was an experience complete poems and all. Yeah, you heard that right. This guy wrote a book because his dad, who was also a writer, told him to. Fast forward to 2019, and Joost was on tour with Het Had Niet So Hot. He was rocking venues all over the place, ending with a bang at Paradiso. And as if that wasn't enough, he was hitting all the big festivals. Pukkelpop, Pink Pop, you name it. Now, don't think Joost was slowing down. He dropped another album, 1983. It was a shout out to his older brother. He did it by collaborating with some of the coolest producers around. And then came Joost Klein 7 in 2020, including a killer collab with Baby No Money. He even remixed Equilia by De Kroners. So in a way, he made sure he is always doing something for his music career. Recently, Joost took Germany by storm. Friesenjung was his collaboration with Skiagu that became a hit. The song was a chart topper on the German Top 100 singles. From a small village in Friesland to making waves in Germany, Joost Klein's rise to fame is phenomenal, a roller coaster that only goes up. But with fame, there always comes some sort of controversy, and Joost faced some too. Recently, Joost Klein stirred up some controversy, and it had been the talk of the town. He collaborated on a song called Jackass with the Russian Village Boys. The lyrics? 
Well, they were all about his love for Russian women and his dream of marrying them. But as you know, timing is everything, and this song landed just a month after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So not everyone was up in arms about it. There was a bit of a debate starting. Some people, like a user on X, were jumping to his defense, saying that loving Russia or Russian women doesn't automatically mean you're cheering for the government or their actions. It's like saying if you're into Tolstoy's books or jamming to Tchaikovsky's tunes, you are somehow backing Putin and his Ukraine policy. Not the same thing, right? Avro Truss, who are the people behind Eurovision, claimed in too. Their spokeswoman was clear and he said, Yost has never made a political statement with his songs. And get this, many on X pointed out that the Russian village boys themselves aren't exactly fans of the war. They actually left Russia after the invasion started and have openly condemned the war. So here we have Yost, caught in a bit of a pickle. His song, which was intended to be just another track, ended up in the middle of a geopolitical debate. But as things stand, it's more about the art than the politics. And as for the Russian village boys, seems like they're using using their voices for something more than just music. So what's next for Yost? Get ready, because he's gearing up to surprise everyone at the Eurovision Song Contest in Malmo, Sweden. Yost, known for his electrifying performances and catchy tunes, has been handpicked from a pool of over 600 hopefuls to represent the Netherlands. That's right, our man is going international, and his fans, both at home and abroad, are buzzing with excitement. Yost's unique blend of beats and clever lyrics is sure to set the stage on fire. The Eurovision dates are set. The first semi-final will be on May 7th, the second on May 9th, and the grand finale will be on May 11th, all in 2024. The anticipation is high and we can't wait to see how Yoast rocks the Eurovision stage. Okay guys, that was all for today's video. Are you rooting for Yoast Klein for the next Eurovision Song Contest champion? If not, who will you be supporting? Let me know in the comments below. And before you go, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.